Les, what is McCarthyism? What is what? McCarthyism. I don't even know what that is. Okay. No. Molly Holloway and Hannah Brooks, what is McCarthyism? Isn't it, isn't it a type of dance? Yeah, it's a type of dance. Yeah, we do it like with our team a lot. Do you know who Joseph McCarthy is? Uh, yeah, um, he was in Dream Street. Um, <laughs> he sang body language. Um, and what's your name? Thank, thank you. Uh, McCarthyism is the action of accusing people of being disloyal to the government. This took place post-World War II era during the Red Scare when the fear of communism was rooted in American society during the late 1940s to 1950s. The term McCarthyism was coined after Joseph McCarthy's infamous speech in Wheeling, West Virginia. I have here in my hand a list of 205. A list of names that were made known to the Secretary of State as being members of the Communist Party and who nevertheless are still working and shaping policy in the State Department. President Harry Truman's Executive Order 9835 initiated a program of loyalty reviews for federal employees in 1947. Truman's mandate called for dismissal if there were reasonable grounds for belief that the person involved is disloyal to the government of the United States. Communism ruined many people's lives. Many actors and actresses were out of jobs due to being convicted as communists. They could not find any work because they were blacklisted. I'm not a communist. <coughs> Do you have any spare change? Sure. Thank you. What happened? We were said we were blacklisted. What does that mean? They said we were communists and now we can't get jobs anymore. Joseph McCarthy ruined our lives. McCarthyism was especially detrimental to those in the film industry. The Waldorf Statement stated that... Welcome today, ladies and gentlemen. We will not knowingly employ communist or a member of any party or group which advocates the overthrow of the government of the United States! Among the first film industry witnesses interviewed by the committee were ten who decided not to cooperate. These ten were sentenced to prison for contempt of Congress. Two of the ten were sentenced to six months, the rest to a year. Because you had a bad day, you take it one down, you sing a sad song just to turn it around. You said you don't know, you tell me don't lie, you were going to smile and you go for a ride. You had a bad day, the candle don't lie, you come the back in Congress, the primary body that investigated communist activities was the House Committee on Un-American Activities. Between 1949 and 1954, a total of 109 investigations were carried out by these and other committees of Congress. We have called... Order! We have called this court into session because we have reason to believe that you have been involved with the Communist Party. Do you swear to tell the truth? The whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I swear. Good. Are you guilty of being associated with the Communist Party? I have not, I never have been a member of the Communist Party. Guilty! Are you a communist? A communist? Me? Are you, are you kidding? Guilty! Are you a mole full of reds? I am not and never have been a communist. <laughs> man, for real, man? You just said that because I'm black. Guilty! Are you now or have you ever been a communist of the United States? Just because I'm from Russia does not mean I'm communist. Guilty! 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 Can I help you? Yes, um, we just wondered if you would answer a question. Um, do you know any communists? You think you think I know communists because I'm wearing a red shirt? Is that what it is? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know any communists. Um, I just wear a red shirt. Guilty. Oh yeah, this thing. Oh, didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm 
under Truman loyalty security program, the FBI grew greatly in order to carry out the background investigations on employees. The evidence that they found was given to the HUAC, otherwise known as the House on Un-American Activities Committee. They engaged in many illegal practices, such as burglaries, illegal wiretaps, and opening mail. Yeah, you got it? Okay, good. Alright, sounds good. Keep it on the DL though, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to call you back. Bye. Are Hi. you Emily Flom? Um, yeah. Uh, we're with the FBI. We have a warrant for your arrest concerning your involvement in the Communist Party. What? I'm just gonna have just to take come with us, man. But I'm not involved in the Communist Party! Just, 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 don't stop. Gee, Meg, it really is a shame that so many people were convicted without any actual evidence. I hear you, Katie. After all, that's where McCarthyism got its name. Oh! Mom! I want to watch TV! Okay, just a minute. I gotta finish some ironing. <laughs> Let's see what's on TV. I had a bit of bringing that up. But I have been uh, rather bored with your phony request to Mr. Cohen here that he personally get every communist out of government before sundown. What is this? Oh, I think these are the Joseph McCarthy hearings. I heard about these earlier. I assume you did not, Mr. Welch, because I get the impression that while you are quite an actor, you play for a laugh. I don't think you have any conception of the danger of the Communist Party. I don't think you yourself would ever knowingly aid the Communist cause. I think you are unknowingly aiding it when you try to for a laugh. Charlie, you won't need anything in the record when I finish telling you this. Until this moment, Senator, I think I never really gauged your cruelty or your recklessness. This man's record, and I want to say, Mr. Welch, that it has been labeled long before he became a member, as early as 34% that year. On December 2nd, 1954, the Senate voted to censor McCarthy by a margin of 67 to 22. He became a depressed alcoholic and died four years later. So there's a full right for convicting so many people with false accusations. Huh. Wow. 